This is Legend Nova all about the motherfucking kicks. Put a like on the motherfucking button. This is Legend of All About The Kicks. Subscribe to the channel. Put a like on the button. Share this to your friends and family. Let's get this junk up to 50 to 40 likes. Um, I'm doing the top 10 Jordans, not Jordans, sneakers that you need to have in your collection for the summer. When you're wearing your shorts, or you're going to play ball, or you're going to like, you know, maybe track fail, whatever. Um, I'm going to give you my top 10, but I got my top 5 shoes that did not make it to the collection. Um... But they are still good for, you know, summer shoe or whatever. The first shoe that I know a lot of people going to be like, uh, oh, you bugging. But this shoe right here, you can wear this shoe to work. You can wear this shoe to the gym. You can take yourself grocery shopping. Or you can go out to just, you know, go get a haircut or something. It's the clogs. Like, you got to have a pair of these in your collection. I used to hate this shoe a couple years ago, but this shoe was comfortable. I wear this shoe to work all the time. Um, not this pair, but, you know, I got like seven to eight pairs. And this is one of my shoes. This one I just wear out when I'm going somewhere, you know, out to eat or some junk like that. You know what I'm saying? You got your regular ones you want to have, and you want to have your good ones. So that's the number one. That's number one. This ain't the top 10 yet. These is the bonus ones. And another shoe that you got to have for the summer, definitely if you're wearing shorts, is some low top vans. Now, these are the low top vans. This is an old pair that I bought back in like 2014 and still look good. I wore this shoe a couple of times. This is one of my favorite Vans shoes I will never get rid of. Um, I love these Vans. Uh, that's where Vans was real cheap, you know, for like 35, 40 bucks. But these low top Vans, you need these for the summer with some hot top um, socks and you're going. If you, if you skateboard, them go perfect. Another pair of shoes, if you're playing basketball on the streets, and you want to have comfortable feet, make sure your feet ain't hurting or anything. You don't want to break your ACL or your, your joint. You got to have a pair of the Kyrie, the Kyrie 4s. You got to have a pair of these in your collection. Uh, for, especially for basketball. I don't. You can wear them basically out if you want to wear them on the street. But you got to make sure you rock them right. You can wear these casually. You can wear these, you know, with some tight jeans and all that. So you definitely can wear these. And this is one of my favorite Kyrie shoes right here. Now, two more to go on the top bonus ones. Is these right here that everybody wear in LA? Um, Nipsey Hustle, Snoop, um, Tupac, um, E40, everybody is these right here. This is the famous Nike shoe that everybody used to wear these with the khakis. These shoes right here, I think I paid like 40 bucks at the Nike outlet. And these shoes right here, I wear these a lot in the summertime. Um, I had bought these like two years ago, and these shoes is fire. I don't like all the colors on these, but the black and white ones is fire, and the black and white ones they got. It's fire, you know what I'm saying? And a shoe that everybody always got. This is a shoe that you wear everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You in the house or whatever. You got to have a pair of these flip-flops right here. But you need a pair of these. I always like the Champs Sport ones. Um, the one of the dopest shoes to me. I love the big Champs. Champs came back a long way because, you know, they was out of style for a while. And, you know, they just been doing their thing. So you always got to have a pair of these. Now let's get to the top 10 shoes that we need to have for the summer. Let's go. Number 10 is always you got to have a Jordan Low. You never know when you want to go to a concert or anything. And these Jordan Lows right here, you always need a Jordan Low in your collection. Just for the summer. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to wear them for the winter, you always got to have a Jordan 1 in your collection. This shoe right here is going for like $350. So you always got to have a pair of Jordan Lows. They are really going up in price. So if you could get you a Jordan Low like this. You be good. And the, the suave on this junk and everything on this Jordan Low is, is is fire. I wish I'd double up on all the Jordan Lows. That's number 10. Number 9 is the high top Vans. You always need a high top Vans in the collection. Um, you don't got to have a whole bunch of Vans. I collect a lot of Vans. I was collecting Vans for a long time. I stopped collecting Jordans and started collecting a lot of Vans. I think I got like at least 70 pairs of Vans. So I haven't been wearing my Vans like I used to. But it's a brand new pair right here. Cool grays. These are fire. 
Still got the receipt on these bad boys. And uh, these is dope. That's number nine. Number eight. You always got to have, I know a lot of y'all don't like, you know, number twos on the Jordans. But you always got to have a Jordan low. You always got to have a Jordan 2 low. You can wear these with shorts, sweatpants, whatever. You can rock these with anything. These Jordan 2 lows is fire. Fire to me. I don't know what y'all think about those, but I really think those are fire. You feel me? Now, let's get to number seven. Number seven, I feel like you always got to have, a, in the summertime, a pair of Air Max 97s in your collection. You got to have a pair of these in your collection. Just my opinion. I mean, I don't know about a lot of y'all, but I feel like you got to have a pair of Air Max 97s in your collection. It could be any color wave. It doesn't matter. But you got to have a pair of these for the summer to rock. You know what I'm saying? And I double up on that shoe. I, I just like the, I like the color wave on that joint. You feel me? Um... Let's get to our number six. Our number six is right now is, you know, these shoes is doing real good. Uh, thanks for y'all watching the videos. Almost to a thousand um, views. You know what I'm saying? We'd like to get that up to 2,000 reviews. Uh, maybe 5,000 reviews if we could. But it's the irisons, man. The questions. You got to have a pair of these in the summertime. Um, this cutaway just came out with like a month and, month and some change ago. So if you got this one right here, leave a, a like on these joints. These joints are fire. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you got to have a pair of Iversons in your collection. Uh, Reebok is really coming back real strong. Now we're about to get into the top five. Now the top five is going to be real tricky. Um, don't get mad at me, but we're going to do it right now. Um, I feel like you got a Jordan 1 mid you got to have in your collection. If you couldn't get the high, get the mid. And this mid right here just came out a couple months ago. And I feel like you got to have some mids in your collection, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially for the summer. You know what I'm saying? So, if you got this shoe right here, leave a comment. If you don't, let me know. Now, we get into the top four. Now, the top four, ooh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. And we're going to give you is number four is the Jordan 11 Low. You got to have a pair of Jordan 11 Lows in your collection, man. At least one a year. You know what I'm saying? And this one colorway right here is fire. You know what I'm saying? Legend Blue. Dope shoe. I know a lot of people bought this shoe. A lot of people didn't like this shoe, but this shoe to me is dope. You got to have that in your collection. Now, the best shoe you got to have in your collection that will go with anything. I mean anything. If you don't like none of these shoes, I just named. This one shoe right here will always be a classic shoe. And it came out in 1983 to going into 1984. Is a pair of Air Force One All Whites. You got to have a pair of these in your collection. See, a lot of people, they be beating the mess out these these joints right here. And I'm actually about to get a second pair, man. You know, I got to get a second pair. You know what I'm saying? But these right here, you can wear these with any outfit you want to put these on. If you're going out, like, to the club, put on the Air Force Ones, you good. All right. Now, let's get into the top two. Number two. I feel like what you got to have in your collection. And these two sneakers is the same but different colors. You got to have a... You got to have these in your collection. I know they just came out two years ago. But you got to have these in your collection. So I know they're not saying no, but just show the sneaker. It's a Jordan 11 High Bread. You need these for the summertime. And this shoe's going for $450 if you need to get this shoe. If you can get it a used pair for two or some change, grab it. It's a classic shoe that Jordan wore in the NBA Finals, the playoffs, and these things are fire. So this is the number two shoe that you need to have in your collection for the summertime. And the number one shoe that I feel like you need to have in the summertime, anybody can wear this shoe. Puerto Ricans, blacks, whatever. Not even about the color wave. I'm just saying. Females, everybody could wear this shoe. You could rock it with anything. You could rock it with suits. You could rock it with anything. Is the Jordan 11 Concords. You gotta have these for the summer. 
you can't get this shoe, find some way to get it. Clash this shoe. I wish I could double up on this shoe, but this shoe, it is what it is. I'm just happy I got my pair, and it's all good. Now, we got the cool grays coming out soon. So, it's going to be another class of shoe that I'm definitely trying to double up twice on them shoes. And if I don't double, double up twice, I'm going to buy one. And then I'm, if I got to pay over retail, I'm doing that. I'm definitely getting two of the cool gray sneakers the way they come out at the end of the year. But listen, man, I appreciate y'all watching this video. I appreciate y'all showing me love. And uh, if you like the video I just made, put a like on it. If you don't like it, man, put a dislike on it. You know what I'm saying? But we out of here. Salute to everybody. I'm out. One love. Thank you.